Hey, this is Bob Petito from EdTechify, and I'm going to show you today how to use Google Forms along with an array formula and Eventomatic add-on to create a custom booking form using Google Forms. So here I have a Google Form, and uh, within this Google Form I wanted them to select just the period that they want to attend, not necessarily a specific time. However, if you wanted to have a specific time, that works just as well. Um, but this way, because our periods have odd time uh, intervals, like from 8.42 you know, to 9.17 or whatever it is, um, I wanted them to just be able to select the actual time at which it meets. After they select their period and submit the form, right, I get something that looks like this. And this start time and end time column is one that I created. Um, and it's basically running an array formula. And if you're not familiar with an array formula, basically it works the same way as any other formula, except that it will automatically copy down when you have new entries. So for example, um, if I put in here second, and my array formula should take place. You see it's kind of thinking here, right? My array formula will automatically copy in the times, as you see, uh, based on the data in my other spreadsheet here. Now the array formula I'm using is in a VLOOKUP. So it's looking for whatever period the user selected and submitted, and then coordinates with the start time and end time for that period. And I had to put it in military time so that way the calendar event could recognize uh, whether it was AM or PM. Okay, then after this gets submitted and this gets filled out, I then have the add-on Eventomatic running. I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, now that it's loaded, I can show you here that um, it's going to ask you to select what calendar you want. So this is just my default uh, Google Calendar, as well as which form should be, um, or which sheet is going to be looking for. We just kind of walk through the props here. So what do you want the title to be for the event, description, so forth, the location. I have a spot on the Google form for what location it's supposed to be. Uh, the guest list is the email address, and I want to send invitations to guests. So the moment that the Eventomatic runs, it'll also send an invitation to them as well. Um, and you can select the start time and end time. So it's going to look for a start time and end time. And I want, need to make sure that that's why the VLOOKUP is running, so that way I can have that start and end time already be part of the calendar event, so it's not just an all-day event for that particular user. And if you want to, you can have some advanced options. You can uh, designate when the event matic runs, whether it's manual or if it's based on form submit. I also have here an event, a conditional event creation, and the reason why I have the the conditional event creation is because I don't want event matic to run until that array formula has completed. And so I have here, if the end time is not blank, then it will run, because uh, it takes some time for that array formula to work. So um, otherwise, the event matic will cancel out. So having that conditional event creation is important in my setup here. And that's it. And then uh, event matic does its thing, and they get a an email um, and a calendar event, and it gets put onto my calendar as well. Um, so just so you can see, that it does in fact work. I'm gonna go ahead and go to my Google Calendar here and I'm gonna go ahead and load this form. Okay, submit. All right, so I should see that this was run. So you see that Eventomatic hasn't run yet. All right, it was waiting until that end time happened. And then as soon as that end time happened, then it created that calendar event. Okay. So now if I check my email, I should see that I got a calendar event. Okay, there it is. So New ZLA, third new calendar event was just added. And then if I go to my calendar, I'll see that this new ZLA just happened to show up at the correct time. And then it's prompting them to either go or not go. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at r.petito at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.